Hi, everyone. Welcome to our webinar where innovation meets efficiency. We are thrilled to have you join us. Uh, my name is Kent. I am the Partner Relationship Manager for G Reminders. G Reminders, for those who don't know, is the only automated scheduling and reminders platform that directly integrates with the biggest CRMs in the financial services sphere. So namely for this webinar, Redtail and Wolfbox. Um, and we are the only scheduling platform built for advisors specifically. Today, we are delighted to introduce our guest speaker, Kate Guillen, the founder and lead coach at Simplicity Ops, an operations management company at the forefront of streamlining RIA operations. Hey, thanks. In this session, we will deep dive into the world of automation, really focusing on its impact when seamlessly integrated with two industry-leading CRM systems, Redtail and Wolfbox. Uh, moreover, together, we will take you through automating your scheduling and workflow needs within your processes and how GReminders can assist you along the way in creating an ecosystem from calendar to CRM. So feel free during the webinar to plug any questions into the Q&A or in the chat. We've set out some time at the end to go through all of those and get those addressed. So without further ado, Kate, I'll let you take it away from here. Thanks, Z. I'm so excited to be here. Um, so like Z said, at Simplicity Ops, you know, we are an operations consulting company for RIAs, and we are built on the belief that your CRM should be the operational hub of your practice. Um, the one-stop shop, you know, for managing your client relationships. And a really important part of managing client relationships is proactively meeting with your clients. And so I, I love G Reminders because I, I've been doing this now for like 10 years and always dreamt of the day that we were going to have a solution like G Reminders. And I'm super excited to share with everybody today how to use your CRM in combination with G Reminders to create a massive amount of efficiency around scheduling, you know, uh, managing an online calendar um, and automating workflows. So these are some pain points that we hear a lot from advisors. And I want to give you some tools today that you can use to improve this process. Um, and so, and I'll tell you just a, a quick, funny little background story. Um, when I first started doing this, I would, you know, schedule client meetings over email with a ton of back and forth, um, you know, manually linking contact records in the CRM, manually linking advisors that are to be attendees, you know, in on that meeting, and then manually launching workflows to help execute the various meetings. And so I want to show you today how to solve all of that with one single tool being G Reminders. So um, with that, Z, are you good if I uh, jump in? Go right ahead. All right. So the way this works, you guys, is... You know, regardless if you're in Redtail or Wealthbox, you're going to use a similar system. And so basically, we're going to use recurring activities, workflows, keywords, broadcast emails, and activity templates in combination with one another to really streamline this. And what I mean is I'm going to have a recurring activity in Redtail that tells me it's time to prepare for our client review process for, you know, November, next month, okay? And so up until this point in Redtail, we do not have the ability to set a recurrence schedule So um, with a workflow. So we are going to use a recurring activity that tells me to kickstart this process. So I'm going to go to my, um, my, you know, RIA's contact record here. I'm going to launch because it's telling me to my activity is telling me to launch my review meeting prep process workflow i'm going to start it today and this workflow is essentially a checklist it just tells me like all right um how do i prepare for my firm-wide process for managing our client reviews next month well first i need to go to my list of clients who we're expecting to meet with next month we have basically like segmented our book of business um, built out a service model and identified like who it is that we serve and how frequently do we want to meet with them. And we've created 12 months of keywords, January through December, and applied them to our clients, indicating, you know, the frequency and the months that we're going to meet with them. So the first step in this process is to pull that group of clients. A quick list here is like a frequently accessed report that we've built 
to kickstart this process. So I'm gonna go down to my monthly review list, which are you know all of my clients, and they're in the keyword for, be nice to me, Redtail, November. I'm gonna run this list. And what, what do you know? I've got seven clients that um, based on their segment within my book of business, I need to meet with next month. And the beautiful thing here is now I can start to do some of these actions in bulk. I'm going to highlight all seven of these contacts. I'm going to go to my contact options here. And I'm going to broadcast email them. All right. And, and the reason I like this so much is, you know, back in the day, I was sending individual emails to each one of these people to schedule their upcoming review. So now I can do this. I'm saving myself seven emails, right, by being able to do this all at once. I can select my client review meeting template that plugs in this really nice email. You know, I hope your week is off to a good start. You know, I'm here to offer my assistance scheduling your review. I've included a link my G reminders link to my advisor's online calendar for my clients to be able to schedule this appointment. Talk about efficiency. Now they have visibility and access to my calendar and they can pick a time that works best for them. This is how you guys stop getting steamrolled by your calendar. I have built and configured an online calendar in G reminders that says I'm available to meet with my clients on these days at these times. I know that there's, you know, enough appointments to meet with all of my clients based on the service model that I, that I have drawn up and I'm no longer going to run, you know, back to back meetings or have six meetings in a day and just be completely depleted of all of my energy by the end of the day. That's what I mean by, by eliminating being steamrolled by your calendar. There is nothing worse than being run ragged by your calendar because you haven't set up these, uh, this, you know, parameters, if you will. And so this is the interface that the client's going to receive. They can coordinate with their spouse or whoever's going to be in on the meeting with them and select a time that works best for them. I'm going to pretend like I'm my client, Catherine Beltran. I'm going to plug in Catherine's email here. Uh, you can put in a phone number, and I like this, Z, because so many of our clients want to text reminders. Um, they, you know, uh, want to set up a, a uh, confirmation or a reminder sequence, and this is how you can do that. You can also add additional guests if Catherine's husband is going to be in on the meeting or her CPA or her attorney. Love that. You can also set a location. So if you if this is something that you do in person, you can give them the option to do it in person. If this is something that you do on WebEx or Google Meet or Zoom, you can you can add in those details here too. But it gives the client the flexibility to meet with you however they choose to meet. And then lastly, you schedule it. And the client gets this really beautiful email that looks something like this. Hi, Catherine's my client. An appointment's been scheduled with me on this day at this time. The Zoom information's here. You can totally customize this message. You can make it as lovey-dovey as you want, uh, include any additional details that maybe you need them to bring some documents for this meeting, or you, you can literally customize it to say whatever it is or whatever message you'd like to deliver. And the thing that I really like about this is now the client has the ability to push this to their online calendar. And we can set up a reminder sequence. So not only do they get this confirmation today, but I'd also like to, them to get a reminder a week in advance. And I'd also like to get them a, remi a reminder morning of so that they have the Zoom information, you know, top of their inbox. And I want to go back for one second and revisit that workflow, which is how I kind of kickstarted this process. So my workflow says we need to start by reviewing those keywords. All right, I did that, beautiful. The next thing that I need to do is send my broadcast email. All right, I did that. But it's not good enough to just send the email and forget it. Like I actually want to follow up and make sure that I meet with these people, all right? And so the way you do that, I'm going to go back to my list here, that keyword of November clients. And I'm going to go back to my bulk actions option. 
And I'm going to add a follow-up activity to make sure that these people actually book this appointment. And again, I can do this in book to all of these people. This is not a one-off thing. I can use an activity template called review meeting follow-up. I'm going to set it, you know, for next week to make sure that this shows back up in my world a week from now to ensure these meetings are in fact scheduled. And when this task shows back up in my world, it's going to, excuse me, send me a reminder saying, okay, the invitation has been sent. You just need to follow up to make sure these meetings are in fact scheduled. Review the calendar and confirm the meeting has been scheduled. For G reminders, make sure the workflow has been launched. Make sure the you know, contact record has been linked and make sure the attendees or the advisors expected to be in on this meeting. Look at this step compared to its counterpart, Calendly. And we can all laugh here for a second. G Reminder solves all of this automatically. Gone are the days of you manually linking contacts, manually linking advisors, and manually la launching workflows. G Reminders does all of that automatically and it integrates directly with your CRM, and that appointment has showed up on my calendar. In these couple of seconds that we've been talking about this, this appointment has already showed up on my calendar. And then the last piece of this is if the meeting has not in fact been scheduled, you need to follow up with the clients, all right? And so what that would look like is coming back to this list, uh, realizing that um, you know Chandler didn't schedule, neither did Margaret, and neither did Neil. And we're going to, again, send a broadcast email reminding them to schedule their meeting, include that G Reminders link so that we make sure that we actually meet with people when we say we're going to meet with people. So now I'm going to go back to my calendar. And if everything goes as planned, what do you know? My meeting with Catherine Beltran has pushed to my Redtail calendar. All right, she selected that they wanted to meet in person. So the location has fed. I, I've done all of this is done completely automatically. The location has fed, the Zoom information would feed, the, the, the WebEx information would feed to this field. Details are here. Uh, the advisor in on the meeting is linked here. It's linked to Catherine's contact record. And now, the most beautiful part of all of this, when I go back to Catherine's contact record, what do you know? We've got a workflow now that tells us exactly how to prepare for this meeting. So Courtney on my team, um, and I want to take this one step further. I'm going to get into the weeds here for just a second. If you're an advisor uh, and you're part, if, if you are part of a multi-advisor practice, chances are you have divided your book of business by who is the advisor, you know, uh, in that relationship and organized it under your the contacts roles. So if I go to Catherine's roles, you can see here that I'm the advisor, uh, Catherine is the associate advisor, and Courtney is our client service person for this relationship. And the, the coolest thing that G Reminders has figured out, kudos Z, is uh, being able to link roles to these workflows via this automation. So when I open up this review meeting workflow, my client service person, Courtney, is prompted to prepare documents for the meeting. All right, she's got a whole list here. We gotta go through the client's notes. We need to make sure that their plan's up to date. We gotta put together their agenda. You guys can see what I'm putting together here. But Courtney's prompted ahead of this meeting to get this going. We've got an option here. Is it in person or is it virtual? And literally, my team knows exactly when the meeting is to be scheduled or when the meeting is scheduled, what they need to be doing ahead of time. They have step-by-step -step instructions of how to prepare for this meeting. Let me refresh my page here. And now, oh, doggone it, not a good example. Hold on, let me go back to it. Let me go back to my client. open our workflow back up. I can pick up where I left off now. Me being the advisor, I need to send the follow-up email, thanking her for her time, uh, recapping the conversation that we had. I can literally copy and paste this into my email, fire it off to the client. Courtney's going to make sure that all of my meeting notes made it into the client's contact record. If there's any you know, follow-up tasks 
that need to be added to Catherine because we need to open up a new account or move some money or um, you know change a Benny. This is my reminder to make sure that that happens using activity templates to create even more efficiency. Reminder to update their contact record. So if there's new information that needs to be added or uh, an address that needs to be changed or uh, contact information that needs to be updated, we wanna make sure that we're doing this on a proactive basis as we're meeting with people. And then back to what I was saying at the beginning of this conversation, going back to those review keywords, this is how you make sure that the cadence is set um, for your client's contact records. So what I mean by that, let me pull up an example here of what I'm talking about. Let's pretend like this is how we've divided our book of business. This is how we say, you know, th these are the qualifications for these various clients. And this is how frequently I'm meeting with people. You wanna make sure that these tier one clients are in two monthly review keywords, right? So that we know what time of year we're supposed to be meeting with this, these people. Chances are, I mean, none of these relationships are perfect. And so people come in off cycle. Um, and so if you're supposed to meet with them in January and June, but you actually meet with them, you know, um, in December for whatever reason, you don't want to reach out to them again in January and have a review if you just had a review in December. So you want to make sure that you're very easily able to allow for that flexibility in managing these relationships and be able to adjust their keywords if clients don't follow that perfect um, cadence. And so we have found, at least in Redtail, the keywords are the easiest way to do that. So if I met with Catherine off cycle, this is my opportunity to adjust her keywords. And I don't want anybody to rem like memorize this. I want this to come up in your workflow to make sure that it's done consistently. And so if I need to update Catherine's keywords, and this is why we like keywords over this next review date, it literally comes down to it's less clicks to have to manage. I can go down here to Catherine's keywords and I can take her out of February, May, August, and November, and I can scroll down and I can put her into her new, uh, her new cycle. Now let's wrap up our workflow here and say her contact record has been updated. Oh, and by the way, not only do I want to meet with her, you know, four times a year, I want to make sure that I'm reaching out to her on a proactive basis. So I'm going to add a check-in activity for, you know, two months from now to just check in on her, see how she's doing, send her some, you know, timely research or, or, or article that would um, be applicable to her. But this is how you make sure that you have a system in place to execute on all of these services that you intend to deliver. And if I haven't made my point clear, G Reminders has saved me tens of hours a week of manual back and forth scheduling. I know my example today was seven clients in, a, in the client review keyword, but chances are you have a whole heck of a lot more than that. Uh, and being able to email in bulk, schedule in bulk, launch workflows in bulk, um, has just created a massive amount of efficiency for both myself and our clients. So thrilled to be able to share this with you guys. I think this is a, a, a huge efficiency pickup. Um, and what I appreciate so much is um, it was made for financial advisors versus Calendly, which has been our solution for so long. We can no longer make that recommendation because of the direct integration with Redtail. There is no more lag time. There's no more double bookings because of the lag time. You now, you know, you no longer have to manually link contacts and it automatically fires off workflows. So Z, I can't thank you enough for the good work that you guys are doing and the amount of time that you guys have saved both myself selfishly and all of our clients. Hats off to you guys for the innovation and, and the amazing work that you're doing. So thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, and I just wanted to touch on some of the stuff that you had mentioned here and uh, you know, you can keep your database up uh, for this, but specifically whenever you are speaking about within your review process, making sure that that contact information, the way that you're reaching out to your clients, that all of that is up to date, right? You know, if you're only seeing these people once a year, 
maybe even once a quarter, you never know. People move, people change their phone numbers, what have you. Um, G Reminders is now in both Redtail and Wealthbox updating contact information, not just creating new contacts in your system. So whenever we think about what our source of truth is for G Reminders, when we're scrubbing in, into your CRM and we're looking for a similar email address to either add a new client if we don't find one or um, look for existing clients in your database, we use the email to do that. Um, right. And so now moving forward, if a client inputs, they have a new phone number or they have a new address, that's going to get automatically updated into your CRM. And if you're an advisor, like all advisors that have perfect, clean databases, if you are an advisor that is somebody like that and you love using automations, you can set that automation to trigger your address change workflow. So if we're automatically updating things and your system sees, oh, we have a change of address, we're able to set with those automations. So that way you can keep a completely automated and seamless CRM. So that's really like, that's our end goal. I think in totality is making sure that there is a streamline to operational processes because it when it does come to running a firm and having multiple schedules, multiple calendars, multiple advisors, you know, I think a huge pain point and somewhere that people, operations teams, especially like CSAs, your normal operations team, where they're spending a considerable amount of time that they don't need to be spending is trying to track down your clients who are admittedly enjoying retirement, getting ready to retire, messing around. They're doing whatever they want to do. They're not trying to play phone tag with their advisor or their advisor's assistant. So they, you know, you guys don't need to be spending so much time trying to track these people down when you can just send them something. And then the scheduling process is completely automated, you know, from start to finish. Um, and if it's okay with you, Kate, I was going to jump into our platform and show them. I would love to. I want to piggyback on one thing you said. Yeah. Honestly, I think we should do another one of these. I love the review process. And I think this is really helpful for people because I know people are actively running reviews, but we should do this and show the new client onboarding process and show, oh, that would be great. like, I didn't, I didn't even get into, you know, let's say you have a multi-step new client onboarding process. You start with an intro call or a qualifying phone call. Then you have a discovery meeting and you go through the financial planning process. Like there are multiple meetings being had with that household over the course of a couple of months. And you save so much time and back and forth scheduling. One thing I didn't highlight here, if it's a brand new prospect and they say, hey, I'm interested in your services. I heard good things about you. Can I get a link to your calendar? It will create a contact for them. It will fire off that intro call workflow. Like there, there is just so much efficiency to be had here. I could, I could literally talk about this all day, but I think it'd be fun to have a, a, a simplicity ops G reminders 2.0 convo and run through the onboarding process yeah. and show how much efficiency you can create by automating your scheduling, the emailing process and uh, the workflows. So yeah, jump into G reminders. I'm excited. Yeah. So um, really. Let's do. So there we go. So this is what you're going to see on the back end. So I think Kate did an excellent job kind of showing exactly what G Reminders looks like once it's integrated into your CRM. It's efficient. You're using it. It's a daily basis. It's a tool. It's already something that you're seeing on the front end in your CRM, because ultimately we want you to set this up once and not have to live out of this. Um, we want you to live out of your CRM. We want, you know, one, one piece of tech that you're having to do a majority of your operations in. Um, so on the initial setup, whenever you're, you're first logging into G Reminders and we're setting that up, you'll see at the top here on the top left, your events, and this is where everything is gonna live. So, you know, let's say you've, you're working out of multiple calendars. From a best practice perspective, you've got a personal calendar and you've got your work calendar. You're not working out of like 17 different work calendars. Um, you know, you can have a primary calendar that all of your work events that you schedule in G Reminders are being set against. Um, but then, you know, we don't want to double book, but we also don't want to leave all of our personal appointments and things like that on our work calendar. You can also integrate that personal calendar here. So that way we can look against that and make sure you're not being double booked anywhere. Um, but at its barest, this is where you'll see all of those events. You'll see your personal calendar events. You'll see your work calendar events. All of that will be this kind of that main hub. So you can see everything kind of filtering in. You'll set up those client reminders here. It's a very simple system. 
just new client reminder. It's very straightforward. In there, you can get really granular with the criteria, you know, initial bookings, reminders, follow-ups, post-appointment, reschedule notifications, cancellation notifications. So what that means for you guys is if you have a reschedule notification set up and you move an appointment on your Redtail calendar or your Gmail calendar or your 365 calendar and you're just moving it over, they'll automatically receive a reschedule notification saying your original appointment at this time was moved to this time. You can make it say whatever. In the same way, Kate showed you the example of that initial booking reminder. These are just as customizable. You can put your branding, you can make them sound as personable as you like. Um, and you can do the same thing for personal reminders from like a use case perspective on personal reminders. And why I love them so much is I kind of get a daily digest texted to my phone every morning of all the meetings I have upcoming, anything that's on my calendar. It just gets texted to me, um, in a little text message at like 5 AM. So that way I can just kind of see an overview of my day without having to go into my calendar and become immediately overwhelmed. So it's a lot nicer. It's a lot more filtered down. So I love things like that. I love, you know, kind of the, the personable side of that and, you know, being able to use it myself. Um, so you'll set up those meeting types over here in scheduling. So again, this is something you can get super granular with, and I'm happy to schedule any demos with anybody if you really want to see how this and what this looks like in action. Um, but this is where you'll build all of those out and what they look like. Um, your onboarding meetings, your review meetings, uh, your QCD meetings, you know, whatever it is that you guys are touching base on with your clients, you'll build that here. So that way everything has its own individual link. Can I make a recommendation on this page? Yeah. So uh, because of this integration and because of G Reminder's ability to launch workflows automatically, you need to have an individual event type for each different type of meeting that you have as part of your new client onboarding process. So when you schedule an introductory call versus a discovery meeting versus a, a financial planning meeting, um, that particular workflow gets launched as a result of them booking whatever meeting type in G Reminders. You do not want to have one long onboarding workflow that covers, you know, all of those meetings because, you know, it, it doesn't work. Um, you need to allow for that flexibility of being able to schedule meetings, you know, um, uh, out of cycle or out of flow. Um, so if I can make that recommendation to anybody, it would be to have individual links for each different type of meeting so that you know the corresponding workflow for that meeting is automatically launched by using G Reminders. Yeah, you bring up a great point and it kind of pushes me to where you can find that that workflow um, launching criteria. You know, if you're a Redtail user, you know, automation criteria can get kind of tricky when you're building that out in your CRM. With this, it's just a drop down. So for this particular event type or meeting type, this is an intro meeting. So I would obviously want to um, uh, launch my introductory meeting workflow. So yeah, just to kind of tandem off of uh, what Kate said, it's, it's very straightforward. So if you have your database is matching your, um, your G reminders platform, that becomes very seamless and easy. And I've seen a couple questions trickle in about this in terms of everything in Redtail, you know, what we do in Redtail, do we also do in Wealthbox? And I think the triggering of workflows kind of like perks some ears because as Wealthbox users know, you guys do not have automations whatsoever in your CRM, just from its base model. And maybe the same way that Redtail users do if they're taking advantage of those. Um, with G reminders, you don't have to worry about that. We're still automating those workflow templates for you. So you have the complete capability of everything a Redtail user can do. Everything we've described and showed you today can be done um, within Wealthbox as well. So it's, it's all applicable. I think I answered a question saying that maybe just the only caveat is the terminology in the way okay. that be right back to UDFs and Redtail. UDFs are custom fields in Wealthbox for us, anyways. And I'll tell you, uh, Zira just said that very humbly, but I want to highlight that G Reminders literally beat Wealthbox at the own at the automations game. Wealthbox does not have automations in the same sense that Redtail does, and this exact process that I just mirrored in Redtail, you can absolutely build out in Wealthbox and tap into automations, which is not currently a um, an available feature in Wealthbox. So I, I want to scream that from the mountaintops. That is a huge advancement for Wealthbox users. Um, a couple, just thank you. A couple um, other things I want to touch on before we kind of move into the Q&A, because I do see some questions kind of trickling in. Um, there are two options here for like system administrators. So whenever you have multiple users in your G Reminders platform, you have the ability to set admins, to set regular users. You can create profiles in that, like 
compliance officer, you know, whatever the different roles are within your advisory, you can get really customizable and personalized with what they can do in your G Reminders platform. Um, we do typically see this uh, really great for, you know, uh, advisories under BDs or maybe just RIAs that like to be a little bit more tight knit and what they're allowing um, to be changed, right? Because we want to keep that branding continuity throughout all of our reminders go that go out, all of the client correspondence, all of the events bookings. We want all that stuff to kind of look the same um, just to create the continuity of what your company is. Uh, so you have two options, uh, two, two side tools here for management and org settings. So in management, we have teams. You can set teams in your platform that are similar to the teams in your database, or you can set them against like if you have an advisor specific team that has an advisor always works with this specific CSA. Um, these three advisors have uh, meetings that they take all together. You can build all of that out in here and then individually in each one, you can create event types for those, those specific teams. Um, you can also create event type templates and reminder templates to be sent out throughout your platform. So again, that continuity and what that looks like, I'm not sure if you saw it earlier, it'll say managed here. So when we looked at launching that workflow in the event type, every all of those, um, all the criteria was open and anything that's managed, that's going to be locked. So it can't be changed by, uh, you know, general users in your G Reminders platform. And then in our org settings, this is where you're going to see like a lot of the big heavy lifting of G Reminders. That's where your integrations are going to live. That's where your custom questions are going to live. Um, I just had a meeting with an advisor who specializes, his niche is in um, veterans. And a big question that he likes on intake is, what is your current veteran status? You can create that in your form questions when you're first talking to somebody, whenever they're scheduling with you to get that. And we can copy it, write it back to your contact. So, you know, that's where all of that, the big, like really nitty gritty granular variables are going to live are in these org settings. Um, and then, yeah, Kate, I mean, if you're ready, we can definitely start taking questions. I've got my platform up. I'm sure you still have uh, Redtail database up if we want to jump into that. I want to highlight one thing that you said. Um, G Reminders is smart enough to read, you know, your Redtail calendar. It's smart enough to read your Outlook calendar. Any calendar you link with G Reminders is going to read your personal and professional calendars. If you, And you kind of touched on this but I want to emphasize this for those of you that work as a team. If like you have a lead advisor and an associate advisor in on meetings together, you want G reminders to show your availability for when you and your associate advisor are both available. And G reminders is smart enough to do that using that team's feature. So I just, I want to highlight that because that's been a game changer to all of our clients that, you know, have larger teams and operate as a team. Um, this totally solves that. So I see here, we've got like some calendar questions from the G Reminder side. So um, can we go over how this can be utilized for Redtail users that do not use the Redtail calendar? So yeah, this is something that we see all the time. Um, from our end, I know Kate definitely doesn't teach this as being <laughs> best to not I have use a opinion, Redtail. yeah. <laughs> Um, but for us, you know, we do understand that there are advisories, there's firms that are not using Redtail's calendar. I think even Redtail knows that they don't love their calendar. So we have taken that. And if you're using uh, your Google calendar, your 365 calendar to work out of, you can integrate that fine here. You'll just go to your manage calendars and you can see here, you can set your primary calendar to your Google calendar. Um, so, but it can check availability against your Redtail if you want it, if you're even using it, um, or if you have a 365 calendar that is uh, maybe your private personal calendar, you can put that one in here as well. Um, the main the main thing is just to make sure that your whatever your primary calendar is selected as is that is your work calendar. That's our best practice that we kind of say to you. So that way, because that's the one that everybody on your team is seeing, right? As Kate mentioned, these big teams, if you're working out of Google Calendar, if you're working out of 365, that's gonna be what everybody can look at. Um, so same thing with Wealthbox. If you're a Wealthbox user and you're not using Wealthbox's calendar, you haven't integrated or you know whatever, you can still use your Google or your um, 365 calendar to do that. And can I just give one piece of pushback on that? Cause I, I, I feel like I just have to chime in. So mm -hmm. one of the reasons why your CRM should be the operational hub of your practice, including your, your calendar is for compliance reasons. Like we have to, for compliance purposes, keep a historical timeline of the events that have transpired in 
our client relationships. Okay. And you know, I come from an admin and ops capacity. I've done a lot of compliance. You make my life a nightmare. If I'm having to go to Outlook to find client meetings, and I'm having to go to Wealthbox to, or Redtail to look up, you know, um, tasks, like centralize all of that in one place. Um, I, I have no problem with you using your Outlook calendar as like an at a glance because so many of us live in Outlook. But in order to build out that true historical timeline of your client's relationships, that has to live in your CRM. And G Reminders makes it an absolute no brainer because of the direct integration. It links your client's contact records to build that historical timeline. And it automatically launches the workflow telling your team how to execute the various meetings. I, I, I just can't understand living in Outlook for client meetings any longer. Yeah, completely. that's my two cents. <laughs> I I understand. I understand where you're coming from. Um, another question is that, uh, you know, do we work with Apple Calendar? Do we, you know, we've got people that use Apple software for their calendars. Will this connect properly? I want to get you a better answer on this, um, because when I think about something like this, I think about, you know, the on my phone, like my iCal on my phone. Um, and in terms of the domain of like iCloud.com, that being something that pushes through G Reminders, um, I'll include that in the follow-up uh, email that we send out post this webinar, because I do want to get you like a really sophisticated answer on this and don't want to give the wrong information. Um, but just because it's not something that comes up often, um, it's not within my repertoire, but I'll definitely get you a better answer on that post webinar. Awesome. Um, Good questions. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, these are great questions. I mean, is there, Kate, is there anything else that you can possibly think that we need to touch on within this topic? You made my point pretty clear. This is an absolute no-brainer. Coming from an admin and ops capacity, I, I uh, this is an absolute no-brainer and literally something I've been dreaming of since like 2017 and you guys have solved it. So I tell you all the time, I, you, you just, you kill it. So thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate everything Simplicity does. I think a lot of the best practices that Simplicity teaches are very in line with the way that G Reminders operates in terms of what our platform looks like for advisors. Um, and the advisors that we've worked with that um, we've seen also work with Simplicity have given incredible feedback in terms of making this platform broader, um, bigger, and you know, more ease of use to advisors because ultimately this platform is built for you guys, for advisors, you know, so we really want to just foster that any way we possibly can and kind of grow that and what that looks like. So yeah, we really appreciate everybody's feedback. Yeah, this is, this is really fun. And I, I appreciate the comments. I think this webinar is gold too. I, um, I can't say enough good things. So thank you guys all for participating. Yes, absolutely. Um, so yeah, uh, I mean, thank you everybody for carving out some time today to sit with us. Um, of course, I'm very appreciative of Kate's time and doing this webinar with you reminders. Um, Should we yeah, talk so, about follow-up? Yeah, so I'm going to kind of jump into that. So we do hope that um, you leverage the insights gained today just to elevate your business operations, of course. Um, for any further information, partnership inquiries to take advantage of any exclusive offers or, you know, whatever that Kate is able to push as well, please don't hesitate to reach out to us personally. I know Kate kind of has um, a direction that she'll guide you guys as well post me, um, but there will be follow-up post this webinar um, in email form. I think Kate is planning to share documents, um, things I know we had somebody ask about the, um, uh, what was the, the, the build out that you had for uh, the service model that, oh, yeah. you know, stuff like that, that'll all be shared, you know, post webinar. Um, any pertinent info, of course. So yeah, yeah anything that we covered us. today, as well as the recording, um, my team will email out to all of the registrants of this webinar. And so anybody who missed it can catch up. And if anybody wants to take some of the documents that I reviewed and put them into action, you're welcome to them. And then I'm just going to put our two main links in the chat for anybody that um, would like to go to either G Reminders or Simplicity Ops for more information um, for us. I'm always happy to jump on and schedule a demo. You can do so right from um, greminders.com. Same with Kate uh, at simplicityops.com. Uh, Simplicity Operations, sorry. Um, so yeah, with that, I, Kate, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody else. Um, it was just too fun to geek out on our platforms here and, and you know, absolutely happy to do it again. So stay tuned.
for you know some stuff that we have in uh, in our pipeline here. Um, and so until we meet again, you know, keep automating, keep simplifying, and happy scheduling. Thanks, guys, and thanks, Z. It's always a pleasure. Absolutely. Have a great day, everybody.